All right, today we're checking out the AEA Challenger Elite Regulated Big Bore Bullpup. These are available exclusively at Fox Air Power. Today we're looking at the 50 caliber. These are available in 357, 45 caliber, 50 caliber, and 0.51 caliber. Today we're looking at the 50. What's so crazy about this PCP is that not only is it regulated and has extremely good accuracy, it's nearly recoilless. So I'm not sure how they did it. I guess probably that muzzle brake has a lot to do with it. But it surprised the heck out of me the first time I shot it. So this is slinging out a 50 caliber at 1100 feet per second, depending on which weight slug you use. Very easy to keep on target. So in this video, we'll give you an accuracy test, a power test, as well as give you an up close look at this bad boy. They have Mr. Hollow Point ammo available at Fox Air Power. So he sent over some samples to try out. It ended up that the 235 grain, traveling right around 900 feet per second, was the most accurate out of all of them. Basically, if you do your part and shoot well, this thing will stack slugs on top of each other. Here's some hardcore stats real quick about the Challenger Elite Regulated Big Bore Bullpup. It's got a barrel length of 30 inches, overall length of 42 inches, weighs 12 pounds, it's got side lever action, it comes with two magazines, but you can single shot load it as well. The 3.5 caliber holds 10 rounds in the magazine. The 4.5, 5.0, and 5.1 caliber holds six rounds in the magazines. It has an air tank capacity of 500 cc's. Got an operating or a fill pressure of 300 bar or 4,500 PSI. It comes with this awesome muzzle brake, which I think must be one of the reasons that it doesn't kick or whip up at all. And get this. It has an externally adjustable regulator. So it's not only a regulated, but it's adjustable so you can tune it. Got a beautiful walnut wood stock, Picatinny rail on top. And that's about it. Wait till you guys see how accurate this thing is. You're gonna love it. There's actually National Forest just 12 minutes from my house. So I basically just drove up the hill out to the forest. Then I set up first at a very special 35 yards away. Here's a look at all the ammo that we got. We basically got all different weights, and then in some weights, we got 0.495 and 0.497, so different uh, diameters. And also, of course, I brought some Firebird targets, because if we're going to be making noise, let's do it right. That's what I'm looking for. By the way, this video is brought to you by Fox Air Power. And this right here is what's called the triple stack. It's going to create a major diversion. Real quick though, before I show you the 35 yard accuracy testing. Here's the speeds that some of the different ammo was flying. So we had some of these little guys, and they were traveling, basically wow, breaking the sound cool. barrier, I think. That was like no recoil at all. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. And then the main ammo that was supplied, here's the two three fives. Those were our most accurate slug, although they all were pretty accurate. So these right here are the 145 grain. You can see they're hollow inside right there. These right here are actually 220, and they're solid inside. Then these look similar, but these are actually 235s, have a bigger cavity in the middle. And then these are the 258s, which have a smaller cavity, so they're about the same projectile, just different weights. And that right there is actually a special 240, just for testing. And then finally, we have the 300 grain Mr. Hollow Points. Those are definitely some dirty dogs. Right there, I believe that's a 850 grain SLA slug, which wouldn't even fit in the breech. No way to get it in the barrel. This is just the second shot that I ever shot out of the gun. Then I adjusted my crosshairs down to that hole, which was a good nine inches away. And then right here, I'm aiming for that actual hole. <laughs> was that a one shot side in? Seriously, what the heck? Let's keep going. Now I can't remember which hole I was aiming at. 
Let's go for a group. That could have been me. Probably me. I always get weird on the fourth shot. <laughs> so that was a one shot side in from, uh, I was actually aiming at that square the first time. So literally like nine inches away. So all I gotta do is come over a teeny bit. We're gonna be popping bullseyes. Do another group. That was me, I'm a little bit wiggly. This right here is just me not shooting well. During this group, I had a lack of confidence. <laughs> and I just need to get to know the gun for a second. But as often happens, I'm actually going to end up shooting a better group at 50 yards than I did at 35. Only because I got my technique down. So one of the fundamentals that I use to shoot, especially when I'm nervous or can't keep my mind focused, you can actually still make perfect shots in those circumstances by following what I call the fundamentals of shooting. But the main one that I use is that your crosshair should be on the target after the pellet hits it. So if your crosshairs are on the target before and also after, then obviously they're gonna be on the target, well, it's more likely that they'll be on the target in between when the projectile is leaving the barrel. So it works pretty good actually. And that's just basically how I handled this gun. It has just a teeny bit of kick. If you just keep those crosshairs on target until after the bullet hits, that's how I shot these 50 yard groups. Real quick though, here's a headshot on a squirrel at 50 yards. Look at this. Homeboy took a headshot like a champ. And now here's an official 50 yard group at a very special. 49 yards away, pretty close, going for 50. This right here is my warm up group. And then this next one is my practice group. That's how it's done. Damn it, I knew I pulled that one. Yep, you gotta hold your crosshairs on the target till after it hits the bullseye. That's the key on, especially on a gun like this. Yep. Not bad for, uh, just got this out of the box. I already got it down. Let's do the one last group. And then once I start doing that, here's my official group at 50 yards. <laughs> right through the bullseye. Stacking slugs, baby. Holy crap, you guys. And that was me. So with a little practice, that's a 50 yard group with giant slugs. Holy crap. You guys are dead. First, real quick, check out this fill probe. It basically screws in and then I just left it in there when I was tethering to my tank. So with my gun tethered, we were able to establish that this gun's super accurate. And spoiler alert, at the end of this video, I'm gonna vaporize cans at 70 yards away, so. It shoots good at a long distance as well. But I'm sure you guys wanna know how many shots you're gonna get per fill. So I actually went back to the forest for a second time and back at the house I pumped the gun all the way up to 4500 PSI and here's the result. So we're going to go ahead and do a shot string with the very special 235s and uh, see how long it stays on the regulator. Looks like we're regulated at a very special 200 bar. Nice. Oh, vaporized it. Vaporized it. Direct hit. Didn't even, didn't even see nothing but pink mist. Darn it.
I'm gonna go put some firebirds right here and then we'll blow the top of that thing off. I just realized that I can put a firebird behind that can. Smurfic. That was a good one. All right, this right here is an inline tripler and it's only to be used in emergencies. Holy crap, you guys. All right, at this point, my editing software is tripping out on me. And so I'm not able to finish this video as I normally would. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I can and just tell you what happened. At this point, I'm still just shooting off a full tank and we're still on the regulator. So I kept on shooting and I actually moved it out to 70 yards. And at that distance, I was still able to hit pop cans, no problem. <laughs> so breaking it down, we ended up with five shots being on the regulator at basically exactly 900 feet per second. So that's great that this regulator is actually doing its job, which the Umarex hammer is supposed to be regulated, but it's nothing like this. So it's holding us at 900 feet per second for the first five shots. And then I'd say you get another five shots where your point of impact isn't going to be far off. If not exactly the same place. I shot it all the way down to 750 feet per second. And I was still hitting cans at 70 yards away. So, there you go. Alright, it's time for me to get out of here. Definitely the best 50 caliber I've ever shot. Alright everybody, until next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.